Well, Hillary Clinton already has a problem appealing to the younger voters, the millennials, and this not going to help. They're children of the Great Recession, and they are living in their parents' basement. The idea that maybe, just maybe, you could be part of a political revolution is pretty appealing. It's a false promise. But I don't think you tell idealistic people, particularly young people, that they bought into a false promise. <laughs> False promise. Well, that leaked audio of Clinton mocking Sanders back in Sanders supporters back in February from a fundraiser back uh, in Virginia. The Clinton camp claims she was just being sympathetic to the plight of young people. But what did she really mean? For more on this, we turn to political editor for Town Hall and Fox News contributor Guy Benson. Hey, Guy, thanks for being with us. Hey, good morning. What did she mean by that? Well, I think if you look at the context of what Mrs. Clinton said, she wasn't necessarily belittling millennials who supported Bernie Sanders. What she was basically saying was there are a lot of young people graduating from college unable to find good paying jobs and feel forced to delay their plans for their lives, live in their parents' basements. And so I don't think this is deplor uh, deplorables 2.0, but it is pretty clearly, in my view, an indictment of the Obama economy. Look who's been in charge for the last eight years, and she has basically the entire platform that Barack Obama had and wants to continue it for four more sure. years. More of the same, which is what Donald Trump has been saying over and over again about her. And you know, Guy, when, when she and Bernie, they were supposed to be together today at a campaign event, uh, but mysteriously, after this came out, they've decided to put it off for a couple of days. You know, she's going to uh, link arms with him and say we're together on the same page. But in that whole thing where, you know, she talks about these baristas uh, living down in the, their parents' basement, she distances herself from free college, which she's been promoting, and free health care, and says, I'm more, you know, I'm kind of from center left to center right. So as she tries to get these millennials to vote for her, you realize, wait a minute, she doesn't stand for the stuff we stand for. And I think part of it also, Steve, is if you're a Bernie supporter who's a young person, you might look at the audio and clips of it and some of the commentary about it and say, oh, gosh, you know, is she making fun of me? Is she saying that I bought into a lie that I'm too stupid to understand? Or do you just sort of shrug and say, whatever, she's kind of lame anyway. Of course, she's talking out of both sides of her mouth to different audiences. She can wrap her arms around Bernie Sanders at every event from now until November 8th. I just don't care. Yeah. Are you going to show up and vote right. in November? Guys, I think that's a challenge for her. You say it's not deplorable comment 2.0, but there are a lot of millennials that are not happy with this. In fact, there's a tweet from a Sanders supporter, Millennials for Revolution, that says, we aren't in our parents' basements. We are an entire generation of workers who are sick of being shafted by neoliberalism. Hashtag basement dwellers. So that's a comment from someone who... Who is pretty offended by it. Thank you so much from for being their with us, guys. That's right. <laughs> sure thing.